This is Travis from Point in Time Software. Welcome to Using Account Mapper. In this demonstration, I will show you how to build a strategic account plan using Account Mapper. As you can see, I am in the accounts and I'm going to choose this account B2 squared. And I'm going to go ahead and click on this hyperlink. If this was the first time that you created the plan or the initial time you created the plan, it would ask you to choose a template. You would select the template and that would build out the plan. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this hyperlink. I've already uh, clicked on it once. I've already selected my template. As you can see here, here is the account mapper. I've got some buttons up here and I'll discuss those. And we also have some uh, tabs running along the top of the plan itself. So I'll go through each one of the tabs and show you how to create your strategic account plan. So you can see here I have my account details. So this is based on the template. So your details may be different. There may be some custom fields or other fields that you will see in this template that you're using. If I had any partners in this account working opportunities, I would see them, they would be listed here and the opportunities that they're working. I have my six month plan, my 12 month, and my value proposition. I'm gonna go ahead and as you can see, I have some drop downs. This helps build the health or the score of the account plan. So I'm right now I'm saying I'm working and the scores are basically 0, 50, and 100 being completed. So I'm working this. I'm working my 12 month plan. Now you can change anything in here in the 6 or 12 month or value prop. It will change your plan but it will not affect the template for any other users. So you can modify it based on your requirements for your particular customer. So I've got my manager comments and my team comments. I can email my manager or anybody else or team members a link to this plan they can get in the Salesforce and then they can put their comments or use their or put their input regarding my plan here I have my account contacts and of course the more contacts would be listed right here and if I've ever met with them using meeting mapper so I'm gonna go ahead and save my plan real quick here we have the customer buying process it's important to know their buying process so you can line it up with your selling process so I'm going to go ahead and based on some conversations I had when I created the lead and transitioned that lead or converted that lead into an account, I do have some information. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put their buying process down because we did discuss it with the customer. So identify the problem. Position number two, and the reason why you have to put a number here is because if you had, for example, I add number two here and I go, oh no. I need to add something between one and two to make it number two. For example, you can do that here. You just add the number or the position that you want to change. I'm going to add number three here. Number four. I just want to build this out. The importance of this is when I create opportunities in this account, this buying process will also go into all of the opportunity mappers plans that I create in this account. So now I may not be the account owner, but I can leverage information that the account owner has uh, gotten and documented in Account Mapper in opportunities that I'm working. I'm going to go ahead and say this is completed. And I'm going to go ahead and save it. I do like to save after every tab. Uh, it's a visual force page, so I just want to make sure that I save all I'm doing. Here are customer initiatives. Now, this is pretty interesting. Let's say I am talking to a customer and we're talking about, so what is your initiatives, you know, the next 12 months, six months, two years? What this allows you to do is I can now document an initiative. For example, they want to look at a sales enablement platform. I can put a diff, uh, additional information here and I can also say, what are their time frame that they want to do this? And I say it's going to be Q2 next year or this year and I can save it and I do want to put that I am working milestones I, or the customer initiatives are not completed yet as you see right here I now can create an opportunity from a customer initiative so now I'm building my pipeline as I'm having interactions with my customers this is very powerful should give you a leg up on your competition very easy I would just go into here matter of fact I'm going to create one and I'm going to call it and the close date is going to be I'm going to say in August 31st, we're in a prospecting phase. I could put in here, if I had customer initiative here, I could do that. Put other, and the type is 
new business. I don't have an amount or the next steps, basically. And I'm going to go ahead and save this. So right now, what that did, that created an opportunity, and I can link myself back into that opportunity. Here, I have my account milestones. Now, one thing that's very important, anywhere where you see a drop-down, that has been configured for your organization. You can tune or configure a strategy mapper uh, to really fit your business. And that's very important. So what do I need to do from a milestone perspective to be successful in this account? Well, I need to schedule an initial meeting, and I can assign it to myself or anybody else in my Salesforce organization. And I can put in here, I want to send an email notification. I'm, I am working this. And what's the due date that I want to get this done? So my initial meeting, I want to be on Thursday. So I'm going to go ahead and save that. Now what's going to happen is I will get an email with this uh, event and it will also store it or put it on my Salesforce calendar. So what you can see initially from uh, Account Mapper is that whatever you do here really affects everything uh, in Salesforce. So you don't have to do duplication of effort. You do it here and you can work. The, the goal is once you set the account up, you should be able to maintain the account and drive revenue through that account from Account Mapper. Challenges. There's always challenges in the account. Again, I'm not the account owner. I am the opportunity owner. I'm somebody working. but as the account owner, I can say, you know what, their legal process is difficult. Now, when I create an opportunity, this is going to send all this data down to that opportunity again in an opportunity mapper. So now I know that there's challenges and I need to start working the legal process so I can now backwards plan. So now I'm better prepared to win. And again, I'm working the challenges. Marketing and biz dev, you can put any kind of marketing activities that you want to do uh, for this account, any business development you want to do right now. I'd say I'm not started, so I haven't done anything yet in it. Notes. For example, let's say I just call the customer, just talk to him very quickly. I can put a note in here and it will be placed in that account as activity history in that account. So now I don't have to go back into here and then back in the account. So I just in here and all the information and I want to stamp it right now that's when I had my conversation or if I say oh I remember that I can put it back in there and I'm gonna go ahead and save this competitors this would be filled out or populated when you find or identify competitors and opportunities and once you do that in meeting mapper those opportunities those competitors are then fed into this section Meetings. If you've never had a meeting using Meeting Mapper, this will not show up until you have a meeting completed. However, I had a lead. I called the lead. I had a meeting with them using Meeting Mapper. I converted that lead over. Now that meeting is placed in that account. So now I have history of how that lead was created or why it was converted, what kind of opportunities I have in there. So I may not be the lead generation person. However, I get the value of their conversations with the customer. So I click on this and you can see I have some basic information about what was talked about inside or during that meeting. It helps me out. There was a decision they want to move forward, budget not determined, and they have some general interest. One of their pain points, or three of them that we've unco uncovered in that conversation, they have high rep turnover, no consistent data, and teams not practicing methodology. And here are their why buys. This is what the customer told us. So now, as I'm getting this account, I'm, I'm framing myself from figuring out how can I win and drive opportunities within this, is, within this account. And here is my opportunity, and that's just the one that I created right here. So it's already populated. And you'll see in the next video, we talk about Strategy Mapper, again, choosing the templates and all this other information that we gather. So that, are, that is the tabs right here. So basically, I've just created my plan 10 minutes maybe. So it's very fast. And now the updates are done through, your, through Meeting Mapper. Now, I did want to go in and discuss these buttons. Back will take me back into the account, standard Salesforce object. I can save my account plan. I can notify my manager here. I just put them in their email addresses, maybe more than one, and I can send it and they'll get a link. The same with notify team. 
here is my score. So you can see that I've already started getting some good information in this score. The score is calculated. This is my plan. This is what I'm doing. Again, 5100 is right here. I've had a meeting. This is the information that I'm gathering using Meeting Mapper. Where you see these ones, those are the default weights for these particular fields, for example. You can change that based on your business requirements where you think that identifying the competitors is more uh, heavily weighted than one, strengths, your strength, or obstacles. Now, when you have identified a weakness or object, objection or obstacle, those really will hurt you and that becomes a negative number and will remove some of these points from the score. Solution score is really just used in uh, Opportunity Mapper to determine how your solution matches up with the customer requirements. And again, every time I do a meeting or I change something in this plan, this number will fluctuate, either go up or down depending upon what I learn uh, in my interactions with my customers. Here is the account playbook. This is generated in real time. This gives me some great information on this particular account. One, what is the account? Here's some information as of today. How many opportunities are there? There are prospect. Who are my contacts? What do I need to do to raise this score and increase my, op my chances of winning? I need to complete my plan. Six month, 12 month. Have a manager review it. Have my team review it. That's very important. Identify some competitors. Engage the customer, identify the decision maker, the buyer, the champion, decision date, customer requirements and strengths. Because when I identify that, that builds a knowledge that I'm gaining to be able to win and beat the competition. Again, the solution score, uh, not really prevalent inside of account mappers. Here's my milestones that I've identified. Here's some customer, or some customer initiatives. Here are some challenges in the account. Some notes that I took. Uh, you know, just very quickly did it inside the plan. Here's the customer's buying process. Here's a six month, 12 month plan, my value proposition. Actual intelligence, which is gather, gathered through Meeting Mapper. My decisions, my why buys. So now I can get this information and I have a very good grasp on this account. And every time that I update my plan or every time I update uh, a meeting and then link it to this account, this will be updated and reflect inside of what I've gained, the knowledge that I've gained in that. I can uh, create a new meeting. I can create a quick meeting, which is basically, uh, I want to meet right now and it builds the account or the meeting mapper page out you know, right now. And then I can also uh, look at my org map and then realign the org map based on the information I'm gathering in my meetings. So really that's all there is to account mapper. Uh, very easy to use. You build a strategic plan very quickly and you maintain it with the interactions you're having with your customers. Have a great day. Thank you.